Uvalde police will soon have close to 30 ballistic shields to use in emergency situations. Last year, officers only had one strong enough to stop bullets from the gunman's AR-15 style rifle during the mass shooting at Robb Elementary. A new report from police also reveals the training officers have received since the tragedy. Kens 5 Sarah Duran reports. More than a year after the mass shooting at Robb Elementary, Uvalde Police Chief Daniel Rodriguez. You have a list there in your packet is giving an update on the equipment and training the city's PD has received since. The day of the tragedy, his department was one of several agencies who responded, later facing harsh criticism for waiting more than an hour to breach the classroom and kill the gunman. After the shooting, Uvalde PD's first purchase was a single rifle rated shield, a high level of protection against AR-15s officers claimed they didn't have on May 24th. After Tuesday night city council meeting, the department will have close to 30 shields. Other items purchased over the last year include ballistic helmets, patrol vehicles, radios and door breaching tools. We have five sets of those and those are also out in the field now as we speak. Items were purchased either with city funds or through grants like Operation Lone Star, which awards money to Texas cities fighting criminal activity related to border crossings. City police have also undergone training. Rodriguez said the most important course taken to date was evidence management. Those officers are taught the, uh, the number of days that we have to hold on to certain uh, evidence. Also, when officers can destroy evidence, Chief Rodriguez says training is ongoing for all officers. The department is also working on getting officers certified as instructors to keep future training in-house. In Uvalde, Sarah Duran, Kens 5.